my friends on YouTube, we are live on Twitch today and today is the first day that we are going to be playing uh, our regular challenges ever since The Sims 4 Love Struck came out. I am super excited, I also decided the first of our challenges that we play with this new pack should probably be our Black Widow challenge. Very clearly, our Black Widow challenge is all about dating, all about finding those perfect matches, so I am very excited to see how uh, for example, the dating system, but also attraction or romantic satisfaction, romantic dynamics is going to um, somehow affect this challenge at all. Or maybe Helena's ability to get together with all the men very easily. So let's see that. I am very, very excited. And keyword today we're starting with Caleb. So I am very excited and there are some things that happened to Caleb last time. So let's see how that goes as well. Uh, and also today live with us here on Twitch are our beautiful Twitch friends who are saying hi to you, our YouTube friends. Thank you so much friends for saying hi. And YouTube friends, if you ever feel like you are enjoying these videos, maybe the challenges and you would like to be part of this beautiful chat or maybe just lurk in the background. We are live Thursday through Sunday um every day and we would love to have you here all the instructions on how to get here are in the description of this youtube video so please come and join us we would love to have you and now let's get into the game so uh here is the game perfect and let's get here black widow let's go exactly i am i am excited for black widow so, friends, let me give you a little context of what happened last time. Uh, Alright, Lurk, I gotta play my game, Gemini. That sounds amazing. And thank you so much for your Lurk. And also, Miss Atlantis is saying hi, YouTube friends. I have missed you. Let's go, Miss Atlantis. Thank you so much for saying hi. And uh, so, let's get back to our Black Widow household. And let me give you a little update on what happened last time in case maybe you were not here or you just don't remember. It has been like two weeks at least, I think so. Um, this is Helena, our Black Widow. And she has had in total, actually how many husbands? Oh, not necessarily only husbands, but like partners. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> that's too many so basically helena is uh our black widow and she is in her eighth marriage at this point her eighth marriage is with caleb and also just as a little refresher caleb was someone who has the, this whole challenge throughout all of the seven other marriages he has served kind of like a side hobby for her like a side chick um, he was basically her lover. Also, Klo, welcome to the stream. 36% spicy, quite good. We love that. Welcome, Klo. Happy Friday. So he has served kind of like a lover for her. And I never thought that he would ever become our husband eventually. Never. I thought that he would always be serving this, this very like side role as just being a lover for when she was feeling like it. Uh, but then uh, his sister, Lilith, she fell out of the mountain as part of like the neighborhood stories and she died. Uh, we also found out because Helena was a friend with her, so she was also devastated. And then um, Caleb kind of called us asking if we don't want to marry him. It was like the next day or so. So we decided that although I never thought that I would become married to Caleb, he called us asking if we want to marry them or marry him. And we decided that it would be good to kind of like also lose him as our husband, as our normal, as our normal practice is, uh, so that he can be together with Lilith in the afterworld. Because otherwise he is a vampire, he would probably be um, alive for like few more hundreds of years and we think that it would be good for him to go where Lilith is so that they can be together. Bunny? What do you mean 100%? <gasps> wow! Oh my god, Bunny, congratulations! And also, Gemini, 72% spicy. Love to see that, friends. 
Today we have high spiciness. Friends, have you heard that I am also 100% spicy today? <laughs> Happens never. So <laughs> this day should be remembered. This day should be remembered. And one more information that you kind of like need uh, for the context of what we are going to be doing in this episode is Caleb did have the sun resistance. And that is, I think, the most like unique way that we can get that we can get rid of him compared to all of the other human spouses we did have in the past. So we decided, but he did have sun resistance. So I was like, it's not possible for him to die from sun. So that's where we decided to gaslight him, kind of, and manipulate him. Uh, and the, him and Helena went to the gym. Because Helena recently is like really kind of feeling going to the gym and getting fit and so on. So they went to the gym and of course, as everyone in the gym, um, Caleb got a little bit smelly from working out. So Helena kind of started manipulating him and telling him how disgusting he is for being smelly and how she is not like feeling attracted to him anymore and that this is not like proper hygiene and so on. And Caleb started thinking about how he can be the best version for his wife. So he decided to give up his sun resistance and get this odorless um, kind of like perk instead. So that's why right now he will never smell, but he can die of sun. Uh, hello, all you lovely spices and our lovely Queenie Brit. Hello, welcome. How are you doing? Happy Friday. Welcome, welcome. We all know how I feel about our female lead. <laughs> I know that many of you are angry at like the whole idea of getting Caleb be in the afterworld because I know that you love Caleb. I was saying this last time, I feel very neutral towards Caleb, not gonna lie. So that is roughly kind of like a recap of everything that is happening in our challenge right now. The most important information that you need in order to understand what we are going to play today. Uh, I'm excited to watch this gameplay, Brit. Let's go. Oh my God, I love that little cat. Oh, the little uppies cat. I love that one. So welcome, Brit. Make yourself comfortable. We are just starting. Literally, I just opened the game. So let's go. So we just have to get Caleb to go to the sun. So I would say maybe the next thing that we should do uh, is... Like, go to the beach? I feel like Salani would be a good thing. So, Caleb, go to sleep. Perfect. And in the morning, we can go uh, to Salani. Or where should we go? I'm like, where? where is Sun? Where can he... I don't want to go to Selva Dorada maybe this time. I feel like this whole story with Caleb is a little bit let's say different than all of our other stories. So that's why I am enjoying maybe Go doing break. something else with him. But he can be basically anywhere. And it's going to work. Take shower. And let's do one thing. Let's open Helena's Cupid Court. She is looking. Absolutely fantastic. I was not ready for this, but look at her. Oh my God, you are... <laughs> no words. So let's not date elders yet while she is still uh, an adult. And she has so many traits. Okay, let's not choose materialistic and snob. Let's maybe go with... Um, cheerful and alluring <laughs> those are those are some of those uh, traits that you want to show on the dating app not necessarily s snob or uh, materialistic no 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 so let's take a look at her matches oh jace oh he's flexing easton uh very typical auto-generated sim hate it Kaylee, okay. Darren, 
Austin, Liam, Kayan. We can see that those are probably all of them, like super auto-generated sims. And there is one more thing, friends, that we have to do for Helena. With new turn-ons and turn-offs, we have to give her um, the new turn-off, which is she doesn't like broke sims. Let's let's go and do it right now. So let's uh, let me put the, all my cheats in. Perfect. Where are you? And let's go into cast. <laughs> So, she dislikes broke sims uh, and she likes wealthy. <gasps> sims with this turn on are attracted to sims with a net worth of over half a million. <gasps> oh, so she is looking for a man in finance. Always, 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 always. Doesn't have to be finance, like in working in the area of finance, but we still do appreciate when he has a little finance to his account. Um, um, Quinn, do you mind sharing the name of the song? Let me real quick. So it's Roof and Nayad, and it's The Streets. That's it. Uh, because I am playing it from Epidemic. And it is an epidemic if you want to use it for content. <gasps> Friends, also one more thing. Did you know that Tawny started streaming on Twitch? Friends, if you are not yet following Tawny, Tawny is a very effortless and um, entertaining builder. He's doing lots of like different, very creative challenges. Go and boop that little follow button. I have been already spending some time there. Also, Sif has been spending some time there already. So I do recommend um, giving uh, Tawny this little follow and we will see each other there at some of the streams. Um, I always like the song when it comes on in your stream, yeah. I um, I wish there was like a way of making it possible to share the song. I saw some streamers having a command like song, but you have to play it through Spotify. I love watching building, so maybe I can learn how to build definitely, definitely. Thank you so much, friends, for following Tawny. I really do appreciate, see you there. Oh my god, friends, I am so sorry. I touched the microphone and I don't know in like a very strong way And I don't know if it made some sound. I am so so sorry Hopefully not So she definitely likes wealthy sims um, Oh, thank you so much Tony. Of course, of course, of course So let's go and I love also this possibility of self-employed Love that so much. I think she doesn't mind. She is like no matter how you make your money, I don't care. Still doing laundry at this hour, Lurk. Oh my god, Doey, hopefully it goes well and super fast. But thank you so much for your Lurk. And thank you so much for that, that cat. <laughs> don't tell Chris that you have this cat because, uh, as well, because <laughs> Chris will <laughs> set the chat on fire. Um, okay, so you can still go to sleep. Bentley has a loose tooth. Oh my god, can you still go to sleep? I hate when my sims just wake up in the middle of the night. And I know there is supposed to be some kind of a mod for it, but I never figured out which one. Okay, go and use the bathroom. Go and grab some foodies. Also super sour, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome, happy Friday. Super sour, I always notice you because of this like little waving horsey. That's like your your little sign. I love that. I loved it so much. Chris, don't be don't be running this way. I, I haven't said anything. I haven't said anything about any cats or, or anything like that. Mm -mm. No? I haven't said anything. Okay, so Bentley is going to school. And he's a C student. Maybe he should study hard. 
Um, it is an emote of Pinkie Pie. I have been uh, My Little Pony fan since the 80s. Yes, I did recognize it's My Little Pony and I love it so much. And I can see it quite properly even when it's like small, which is a good thing with an emote. Okay, so um, it's 8 a.m. Let's go somewhere. So none of them, yeah, they don't have like any work or anything. So let's go somewhere outside with Caleb. Let's take a look what we have. Um, oh, maybe we can go to the new park with Ciudad Enamorada. Let's do that. Oh, let's maybe make it a date. Friends, oh, so excited. So ask to create a date. Uh, she's pumping out at push-ups. I could never. I I cannot even take those like random push-ups seriously anymore in The Sims. Like all The Sims just doing random push-ups anytime. Like on a date, push-ups. Outside, push-ups. At work, push-ups. Lurking today, but just uh, but was just wondering, uh, have you uh, take Helena in Cas yet? Sorry, Miss Atlantis. What do you mean once again? Have you take like if we did give it her a makeover? Is that what you mean? Oh, friends, actually, we could give her some of the new things as well from from the new pack. Oh, Naya, Lorraine. Okay, maybe this should not be her first outfit anymore. I would say because it's always showing on all, like when we are moving or going for a date or anything, this is showing as her outfit. And I feel like it's just not fitting. So maybe we'll give her a new outfit when she goes to Salvadorada next time. But I really want to give her, so let's do, uh, let's go to Lovestruck. Friends, can we talk about this shirt? This is such a great shirt. <gasps> Friends, I was not ready. Look at her. <gasps> Sexy, yum. Let's take a look at different patterns. Or should I say spicy, both. Sexy and spicy. <gasps> and in red. Should, should we give her this new red flag outfit? Maybe? I am thinking between white, this floral, or red. Power heard me talk shit and went out again. Oh my God, Carly, no, I'm so sorry. Sometimes, sometimes the things just keep happening and you feel like everything is testing you. But hopefully it's going to be all right again. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Carly, that is rude. Especially those like little things that you don't have like perfect control of. It's bad, but the timing was funny. Yeah, oh my God. Welcome back, Carly, welcome back. I feel like there are like two kind of maybe categories of things ones that you have control of for example like there is a, a bunch of dirty dishes in the sink and it's super annoying and it's like driving you crazy but you have control so if you want you can go and wash the dishes but then there are exactly things like this where ah. you like don't have control and it's like oh my god please no please no everything testing but good that you are back carly Actually, these pants are, are fitting really well. <gasps> For the skirt. Girl! Let's go to jeans. How about also wait, the new jeans that we just got? Ooh. Mmm. <gasps> She is such a mummy. What am I even looking for? I feel like I want some flared jeans for her. 
Or maybe these are nice? Maybe something like this? You like the uh, new jeans? Let me take a look. Let me actually filter by Love Struck. These, oh, these are the new ones. Yeah, they are good. I wish these were not low rise. And I also love these in the combination. For example, with this like black swatch. Mm. How about, how about we give her this outfit simply? And love struck. Maybe the new high heels. Oh my God, look at her. I feel like these ones are better fitting for her age. Not that you cannot like whatever, you know what I mean? It's, it's more before she was wearing super like short ah. dresses and high heels and so on. And I feel like right now she just is a little bit more relaxed in her fashion choices. And she also knows she has what it takes to get a man. She is stunning. She is absolutely stunning. I cannot get <gasps> enough of her. I'm like red or white. Maybe white is fine. <gasps> and we can give her also one of the new necklaces or generally any necklace. Um, or just simply this one. <laughs> oh! This is the new one, for example, with this little bear. Finally, it looks like CC. I am so happy about this. Look at it. You like the red? Yeah, it can be her new red flag outfit. Because I don't think right now we have like any red flag. No, we do. Okay. But still, we can give her a little red flag outfit. Mm -hmm. A little new one. There is never enough. With white. I feel like this looks absolutely amazing. Also with this little bear. Can we please talk about it? Okay. I feel like um, her makeover is finished. Or not really like a makeover. It's more just I wanted to give her some of the outfits. And also, wait, let me think for a second. How about we replace this outfit? with um wait where is it wait it's locked no those were such great outfits and they are locked Maybe she should be like a romance um, counselor. She definitely has like all, she has all the like bad advice, <laughs> arguably, but she still should. She still should. Okay, and now we can plan the date. Ask to create a date. I was just going Bonnie to say Gabby? new career for her. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. Why are they locked? So they are locked behind the new career. Uh, the new career is romance um, counselor and it's basically you are either a matchmaker or like a therapist, uh, like a couple therapist kind of. And it's so much fun. I love that career so much. I feel like the reason why I love it so much is just because it's so refreshing and kind of different from anything else that we have in The Sims. And the outfits are locked behind the career. So you have to reach certain level of the career before you can wear them. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I wish they weren't. I feel like nothing in cast should be locked, but maybe that's just me. I just want to play Sims now. Stupid, we're getting in the way. Oh, Chris. Yeah, I know that. I know that. 
I am also worried, as I said, I am also worried deep in like working and editing. So I will be editing for the rest of the evening. So I totally get that. And I would love to play as well. Maybe I will play some more after I'm finished with the, with the new video. Let's go on a romantic date. Um, okay. What should we do? <laughs> we should... So we are going to a park. Maybe we can grab some drinks. Uh, I haven't explored Love Struck also ban work. You know what I hate more than just work itself? Work during summer. I am like so reminiscent of when I was still at school and don't get me wrong, I hated school. I would not want to get back to school. But when we used to have like full holidays for two months during summer and it was basically you could do whatever you wanted and right now i am like so still not used to because it has been like what maybe like three years that i am not um that i am not at school anymore and i am still not used to like really working full time during summer i am like i just want to go out and go biking or swimming or whatever for a coffee um same, I have full shift to get through friends. All, all the best for your work day today. Hopefully it goes very well. We are finishing end of July at work, so super busy. Yeah. Um, I am three hours uh, in, so five left. Hopefully it goes well, friends. I will, I will, keep, keep, I will keep you entertained. Oh my God, I'm moving my table. I will keep you entertained so that it goes um, really fast. Okay, then we can maybe do like a dancing, I am thinking. Let's do dancing. Let's do reminiscing. Let's do maybe physical intimacy and socializing. And we want to go to... Let's go to Ciudad Eda Morada, actually. At least we have Spice Squid. At least I have you all. I am happy that you are here. Mm, let's go to the new park because there there is not a lot of sun protection is it <clears throat> what did i say <laughs> nothing i said nothing friends let's hydrate cheers i have just water today I needed to drink like a whole thing because it's so hot and my brain is fried. So where is Caleb? Caleb, don't be afraid of the sun. Come here. Sit. You thought it was coffee? Yeah, it kind of looks like a coffee cup. And I think that's what it's also intended for. But I, I'm a little like, I never get coffee outside of home if i get i sit so i just have it in a cup like a normal or, or like a glass so that's why i use this just for water at home and the very specific reason friends to use a glass like this or a cup like this for your water at home or whatever drinks is i can never like really spill over my keyboard and my computer so even if i knock it off um, it will maybe spill like a tiny few drops, but it's not big enough to spill everything at once So that's why I have it around my computer all the time. My water is in it uh, I always love when you are streaming. I wish you could be uh, on more often. I am usually very productive while you stream yeah, First of all, thank you so much Tony for your very kind message. I, I also wish I could stream more. I am thinking so much about getting like an editor at some point, like video editor, because the thing is I don't have time. Like right now I am working six days a week, every week. Four of them is just like streaming and preparing and, and video. So I am like, I could stream more if I had an editor or so, but it's so difficult. I also wish I was live more. And there are so many things I want to do all the time. Like I want to do so many challenges. I would like to maybe be also building more. I don't know, maybe in the future. Maybe if I grow a little bit as a content creator, maybe I will be able to stream a little bit more. That would be so cool. 
But it's so lovely to have you here. Thank you so much for the lovely message, Tony. Thank you, thank you. Friends, so. For real? Mm, huh. Low thirst. How about your Toast. sun resistance, Caleb? How about your sun hey. resistance? Okay. Okay, so it should go down Shoot. the way. Kuzi. <laughs> like him. Cool for you to president. Maybe Kobe. <laughs> Chris, Sir. stop it. Okay, so Tennis. let's do some romantic Warm up. things. Boma. Then it could finay. Let's um, flirt. So let's flirt uh, some more. Lara. Huh, Duna. Lavo. Let's flirt choose? some more. Zorbo. <laughs> Caleb, how about your uh, sun resistance? You are in the sun. Oh, shall I remind you? Oh. <laughs> Grosh? She will hold a Quinn card. <laughs> Imagine that. <gasps> oh my god, Elvis is calling us? I heard you and Shiro are good friends now. <laughs> okay, I'm really checking all the time. Whether he is getting this moodlet about being in the sun way too much. Um, so let's go once again to small talk. And we have to reminisce in, re yeah, reminisce about our photos. Oh, hi, Elvis. Do you have money? Elvis does definitely have money. Definitely. Um can be found a friendly pie small talk. I cannot find it. Oh, share photos? Is it this? <gasps> no, he has an umbrella. No, 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 no. Caleb, get get rid of that umbrella. Where is it, where is it coming from? Friends, he doesn't have it in his inventory. <laughs> How can I get rid of it? No! No, stop using. Kenneth, hi, welcome to the stream. 84% spicy, very nice. How are you doing today? Wait, open umbrella. No, just stop. No, stop using it. Stop using umbrella. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, okay, okay. <gasps> okay, good. Good, 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 good. <laughs> you can, uh, maybe Helena will let uh -huh. you drink from you, from her neck. So Vampire, drink plasma, ask for permission to drink. <laughs> you can tell him to inequip the umbrella and the umbre uh, umbrella. Um, I think he is not using it anymore. I think I managed. And he has the little moodlet of being in um, uh, in the sun. <gasps> hmm. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Friends! 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 What the hell is happening? So, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Um, so, right now, as I told you, we are married to Caleb. But at the same time, we already went to a date and we were planning to next, after we get rid of Caleb, to marry Chiro Lu. And he appears on exactly the same lot as we came for the date, he comes up to Helena and he's like, it's happening. Chiro Lu is utterly smitten with Helena Polak uh, that he is proposing marriage. Right in front of Caleb too. Friends, what do we do? Caleb is right here. Our, our, oh my god. Friends, couldn't Chiro wait like one more day? Literally, 
Caleb is already burning on the sun. He's probably not going to be with us the next day. And Chiro is asking us right now. Run I think we were already also in relationship with him. So I think we are married to Caleb, but Chiro is already our boyfriend. But of course, Caleb didn't know. You have to say yes. But will it mean that it will damage the relationship with Caleb? See, Chiro, you're going to get to know her true self. <laughs> oh my god. Friends, okay. I think it will make Caleb jealous. I am thinking, friends, my, my brain is like this right now. My brain is like really running. So my thinking right now okay false uh caleb is already our husband so we already are in the house so there is nothing to fear second he is going to die like right now probably from the sun like in maybe one hour or so so whether he is uh divorced with us because he will divorce or whatever divorce babe divorce or whether we will stay together and he will burn in like 20 minutes, that's okay. I feel like that's not a problem. So we own the house already and he is going to be dead anyways. Third of all, it has been so difficult with the storyline that we are playing with Chiro to get him to even be our boyfriend and to be romantic with him. Because we have been on such an on and off relationship with him that I felt like he would never actually even want to marry us. And now he just comes over at a park. So I feel like we should say yes. You trying to kill one of them by broken heart? That would be a very unique way as well. I would say yes, then uh, let Caleb get mad. You might be able to talk to him about the relationship and get him to go uh, with it long enough to die. Okay, so friends, we are collectively... <laughs> we are... Col friends, what kind of community are we? Why are we doing this to our sims? That's my question. We, we have to ask ourself, uh, ourselves, friends, um, what kind of people are we? What kind of people are we? Friends, I feel like I have this like very random thing. Um. <laughs> friends. <laughs> Uh, we have to ask ourselves <laughs> <What's that? laughs> Friends, I have this screen <laughs> I have this screen because I was um, recording a video like one year ago and I never deleted this So I was like, now it's a good time to use it for Friends <laughs> Friends, we have to ask ourselves. Or wait, I have a better one. I have a better one. Wait. Wait. Friends, we have to ask ourselves, what kind of people are we? What kind of community are we? Uh, that we collectively agree in this beautiful, lovely Twitch chat that we want to kill a vampire, one man, who is married to us in order to be able to marry another man. We have to ask ourselves, what are our values? What do we value in life? <laughs> the mic, this is a serious conversation, friends. This is not funny. We, we have to like speak to your soul and ask yourself, friends, who am I? Who am I to want to kill a person who is my spouse in order to be able to marry another man who is proposing me in a park? So, um, <laughs> friends, I don't know what to think anymore. 
I don't know what to think anymore. We are not doing the best uh, that we can for the well-being of our Sims. We are doing the best for uh, the wealth of our Sims, just certain of them. So um, yeah, I think I think I think we have to rethink our stand and our values as as a community. This sounds awful out of context in Sims. Not in, yes, of course in Sims, friends. In Sims. Sounds like a telenovela, friends. I have not used this screen. I was like, I still, I didn't know if I still have this screen, but this was perfect. Okay, we can get back to the game now. Um, so I think we collectively uh, agreed to say yes, but... <laughs> I love how unexpected it came. I love how unexpected it came. I was in the kitchen mining my business making lunch. I am so sorry, Miss Atlantis. Love the new stand. I am the... <laughs> Breaking news. Shira has proposed marriage to Helena right in front of Caleb. Friends, we have to use it more. I have been even thinking about cre creating this kind of screen, but like at school or so, and then also at court. So I'm like a judge and I will be like, I declare you guilty, you know? So we can definitely think about that. Um, I am trying to keep the other man away from her. <laughs> Judge, yeah, I would be, I would be judging. Friends, we have to take a break because of the, because of the ads. So I would suppose, let's keep it on this screen. Let's take a break. And the first thing we do after the break will be we say yes. <laughs> Friends, this is so messy, I cannot believe. Okay, so let me pause the recording. Friends on YouTube, we are back. So let's do it. I am not ready. I am so not ready. So let's do, of course. I mean, it's not very much like, of course, it's more, it's more like, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. Scuba. <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> Oh, Pandola. Trigar. I was thinking he would kneel. Wait, so many things are happening. So what is what is happening? I can see. He's so sad now. He's not surprisingly and we are still he's still our spouse so we are still married with caleb but we are also engaged to chiro how does this work uh he didn't do that uh well at all you make him a uh, repropose exactly i'm like <laughs> It doesn't work like that. It's not that easy. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe read the notifications. Um, okay, so um, we started the romance skill. Okay, this is about drinking plasma. This is about romantic satisfaction. And Helena just got engaged to Chiro. That, that's it. Uh, maybe Caleb is into polyamory, but I am confused because I thought that you cannot even propose to Sims when you are married. Because I think that's what I wanted to do in our Love Struck gameplay and it didn't let me. What is happening? So, um, basically, Chiro came to the park and Shiro was previously already our secret boyfriend while we are married to Caleb. He was our secret boyfriend from the last episode and he just happens to be in this park as well while we are here on a date with Caleb and he proposed to her. He was like, hey, do you want to get married? So everyone okay with Helena having more than one partner? Seems like it. I, I don't know, I'm so confused. And he's just going up. He first of all didn't kneel. And Caleb is burning. How long will it take? <gasps> Where are you going? 
How long does it take? No, 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 no. No! Oh no, he again opened his umbrella. Let us buy this umbrella stand. Umbrella. And let's make it so that he doesn't wear the umbrella or doesn't carry the umbrella. Put away umbrella. Get rid of it. And get back. Get back in here. Okay. Um, so everyone okay with Helena? Uh, oh, sorry, I read that already. I wonder what would happen if you ask her if single. <gasps> That's actually true. Wait. I don't have other sims to check. I can check maybe later through Bentley. That would be super interesting to see. So where is Caleb? Oh no. Oh. Why are they playing chess together? Our fiance and our husband are playing chess together. They are living as one big family! <laughs> Let me take a screenshot of this. Sims, you are unreal. Sims, you are unreal. I feel like this is quite like nicer background. <sighs> the tea is so too much. Yeah, the tea is hot. The tea is being spilled. Like this is, I don't know, like this is way too much also for me. I'm like having problem with handling all of this drama. It's being served to me. I don't have to work today for drama. It's being directly served to me. And this is something that I want to see in The Sims. Okay. Uh, so, let's get here. Perfect. Chiro, he, she's trying to kill me. Get out while you can. Mm -mm. Caleb is way too much into Helena. I feel like he would never. Oh, oh my God, look at this. Look at this sculpture. This is so cute. I have not noticed. Inferno Lizard subscribed at zero one for seven months, plus one. Thank you so much, Lizard, for incredible seven months already, and thank you so much for lurking. Thank you, thank you. Caleb is over there, like Chiro. You have nothing on me. I am willing to sit in the sun and die for her. Exactly. I feel like he. I don't know. Like, I feel like he is also just naive. I think. I feel like he just wants to have a nice date with her. So let's think about some activity to do. Oh my God, what is this? <gasps> Lana Salas, okay. I just want to find some activity to do with Caleb together. So let's maybe have Caleb also grab a serving and grab a serving and just sit here and eat it. Enjoy. Exactly. Perfect. What if Caleb was left uh, to live until he gets jealous? Not me trying to make more tea. I was trying actually to make a sim. Sorry, friends. I was trying to make a sim die by heartbreak the whole weekend. I put so much effort into it. I even made like 
Sam have multiple boyfriends, <sighs> girlfriends, <sighs> broke them up, uh, uh, cheated, and so on. <sighs> Nothing <sighs> worked. <sighs> I'm like, I don't even believe in this. Um, okay. That my like heartbreak and anymore because it never <sighs> happened to me, and I was <sighs> really, really trying. <gasps> also, choking <sighs> never <sighs> happened to me. <sighs> I'm so confused <sighs> about it. <sighs> but hopefully, you know, it's broken heart. But he is not <sighs> even having any <sighs> negative emotions <sighs> about <sighs> being. Like cheated on. Oh, He's so God. fine with this. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, let me just cheat his energy a little bit. Do you have emotional death turned off? How do I turn it off? Possibly. I don't know. Has she met Akira yet? Did I misspell his name? Akira, is it the townie from City Living? I don't think she did. I don't think, no. Um, and now, maybe Helena would really like to go fishing or something. <gasps> or maybe they can come here, sit together. This is super cute. In setting somewhere, I had turned mine off. I will have to check because that might definitely be a reason. Oh, definitely. Hey, hey. get enough. Uh, um, let's, um, I want to, wait, <laughs> sit together, yes, yeah. um, snuggle, oh. Oh. look at him, like, really frying in the sun, well, 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 well. I tried to Google it, but you can't, uh, but I can't see the path. Uh, it keeps trying to give me a malt. Um, he is, he is dying by it because of the sun. Uh, at this point, but we can we can try it for some later gameplay. <laughs> oh my God! Look at him! He's frying, frying, trying. Uh, can you kiss, Bunny? Thank you so much for a bitty. Thank you, thank you. Reach level two romantic skill. Ask to extend the date. Kebab tau vintu rangoya. Yips. The things we do for love. Caleb is way too much in love with Helena. And it's nearly like. So, friends on YouTube, we are back. We had a lovely raid. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to take uh, one more screenshot, maybe. And did, uh, did his son immunity perk get removed? He never birds in my game. Yes. We manipulated him or Helena here, our black widow. She manipulated him. Um, she invited him to the gym. She's really into gym lately. And she manipulated him to go into uh, to gym with her. And of course he was smelly because he was doing sports. And so she started like yelling at him in the gym, how disgusting he is and how uh, that is not proper hygiene and how embarrassing it is, how much he smells uh, because she's a little manipulator. And so he decided to give up his sun resistance in order to get this like never decaying hygiene. So that's how he decided to get rid of his sun resistance so now what is happening and we decided to also get rid of his umbrella <laughs> let's go likes deception uh, i mean um, oh no oh my gosh brutal yeah she is oh, very much a manipulator very much i will just say no for now also, hey, Caleb, she? hello. <laughs> the third degree, seek cover immediately, quick. Little time is left before Caleb makes it back to the grave. Mm, 
Oh, and this oh. blue bear in here. No, now is not the time. Sorry, now is not the time. Go away. <gasps> Whoa! Let me. Screenshots! Oh my god. <coughs> and she is excited in the back. Oh my god. Enzo, welcome as well. Hello, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Uh, take it, bed, raid it out, and now Caleb is burning. Yes, unfortunately. <sighs> Grades are up. Amazing. Why is she like super happy? Look at her. She's like looking like. <laughs> Bunny, thank you so much for the mini with little rest in peace. Thank you. No! I am also a little bit sad, not gonna lie. Uh -huh. Black Widow challenge, yeah, exactly. Oh wow. Oh wow. Let's take this with us. Uh, also, Death Chaser. Oh my god, what a great name at this moment. Thank you so much for your follow. Her face, exactly. She is like with the little knife. Let's put this into inventory. And um, Beth Raid, welcome, welcome. Um, I live for one. I leave for one moment, and Bear has joined us. Yeah, where is the bear? Here is the bear. Bear is like, this is enough. I am way too sad. Let's go. Uh, do, 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 do. Friends, so uh, there are some things to do. So right now, it means that we have been widowed for the eighth time already. Look at this milestones panel friends this is crazy we have been playing this channel for more than a year at this point i feel like a year and a half like in real life i am speaking like maybe one year two years so and we are playing quite slow and very storytelling focused and we have had so how many times have we been widowed one two three four five six seven eight eight times and we are already engaged for the ninth time. Helena is very happy she is. Another another one bites the dust, yes. <laughs> also, Beth, thank you so much for your follow as well. Thank you, thank you. Crazy, crazy. Look at this paddle. Fell in love, widowed. Married, engaged, widowed. Fell in love, married, engaged, widowed. No, oh my God, this is too much. This is too much. But friends, I feel like we should do one thing. I feel like we should go and travel. To the original house where Caleb and Lilith were living. So let's go to Forgotten Hollow. Let's go to this house where they were living before, before Lilith died and we decided to move into Vlad's mansion instead of because it's quite like a big mansion and we love big mansions. So let me put both of their graves together and make it maybe even look nice. Uh, here is Lilith's grave. She died by neighborhood stories. More exactly, she died. Oh my god, wait, this is wrong. Uh, 
I am afraid. I cannot even put it to inventory. Mm, okay, we'll figure it out. Is that a gold date? Was it a gold date? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Uh, can I put it into her inventory? Yes, and now take it out. Uh, also, we have channel points lottery mods. Can someone please create um, the lottery poll with numbers 1 to 10 and uh, make it around like 15 minutes? I would really, really appreciate. Uh, also, please let me know if you are working on it just so that I know that I should not do it myself. So, let's create like a small graveyard. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so let's create like a small graveyard for them. Hmm. Maybe this one is actually good. Maybe it's good. Okay, so one, two, one, two. So just one like this. Perfect. With maybe like one like this. And do we have any nice oh my god, look friends what we are doing. This is unreal. Friends, the lottery is up, so you can vote. Oh wait, wait, wait. Um number one to ten. Let me real quick. And not the poll, the prediction. Sorry, I said it wrong. Do, 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 do. I will just start, Laurie. Uh, 15 minutes, let's go. Friends, you can vote. You can vote in a prediction right now. So you can choose to vote on a number from one to 10. And then I will pick a random number from one to 10 and the ones who chose it will win um, all the channel points. Um, no worries, Chris. I just had it already pre-made, so I just like did a few clicks. You have 15 minutes from for that. And now, so let's maybe decorate it a little bit. Oh my god, this is huge. No. Mm, Any more? Yeah, I want something like this exactly. Perfect. Um, yeah, we can do also this. Okay, nothing else. And let's make it look like they are really in here. My brain is fried from work this week. I am not surprised. I am not surprised. Like really, this is a fried week for all of us. It's all good. It really, really, it was like one second. So don't worry. Thank you so much, Chris, regardless. Um, let me make it afternoon. Or I am thinking we could also do something like like this but okay then okay then it will not recognize hmm I'm like do I like it this way do I like it the other way maybe this is not bad actually and I can maybe put something around, like some tiny little fence, but very tiny one. Maybe something like this. Yeah, exactly. Oh, friends, look at this. I am living. Perfect. And maybe we can put also some like flowers um, decoration. Friends. Also, just so that you know, none of our previous husbands or wives, spouses did have this treatment. 
all of them died in Selva Dorada by getting lost in the jungle. None of them has any grave or whatever. This is very special treatment. And that is once again, because um, Caleb used to be our lover. That's a good way to put it. He has been our lover ever since the start of this challenge. So for really eight marriages or, or seven marriages, he has been our lover the whole time. He has seen it all. He has taken in uh, the dog from one of our dead spouses and so on. So that's why he's getting this very, very special treatment from us. He has a whole graveyard also together with Lilith, of course. This flower, or these flowers, fits so well in here. Okay, so maybe also something like, something like this. I cannot believe we are doing this, friends. Cannot believe. We never did anything like this. Okay, and some more flowers, maybe. Hmm, which one is like fitting? This would be kind of fitting. There is no dark swatch. Mm -mm -mm. No. <gasps> Wait, what is this? Moon petal? This seems like they were special. They were special, definitely. This seems like it kind of belongs like here. <laughs> also, Wicked, thank you so much for uh, for your follow. Welcome to the stream. Oh, this is a good flower for here. Yeah, maybe in this color. What else? What else? I am thinking like more flowers or should we? Mm -hmm. There's this like tiny little picture. Wait, I want to turn off the bug. Okay, perfect. And there is this like tiny little picture somewhere. Oh, do, 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 do. Where is it? this one i am thinking i know it's just like a pear it's literally a pear but i am thinking maybe we can act like it's some picture on there wow friends i am loving this so much i am enjoying so much it's weird and let's put like a little bit of dirt around the graves and now they will be able to keep haunting whoever is living in here. <laughs> Hopefully no one anymore. Wow. Okay. Friends, I love this. I am so happy that we did this for them. So now they really have like kind of respectful uh, place to rest for the, for, for the rest of their life for the rest of their afterlife. So very happy with that. So this is Lilith and this is Caleb. Do we have any like pictures together with Caleb? I would put them in here, but it doesn't seem like, no. Certificate, we have just a certificate of marriage. Okay, it disappeared somewhere. We got, ah, here it is. Okay, let's, let's put it back. Yeah, there is nothing, but okay, friends. So there goes um, Caleb and Lilith. Yay! I mean, not necessarily the yay, just, just a little applause for them. Rest in peace, rest in peace, guys. Oh my God, I don't even know whether all of this would happen if Lilith has not died. Purely because that was kind of like our main argument, I would say that we are sending him to afterlife to be able to be with Lilith. Yeah, rest in peace. Oh my God, I'm so sad on one side. On the, on the other side, I'm like, okay, Caleb. 
he he literally called us to ask whether we want to marry him so it's not like we forced this onto him it's he really wanted to marry us and he has been through all of our marriages with us he has seen all the weddings he has seen all the parties everything so he must have known what is to expect him and maybe he was even ready maybe even he was thinking in this way like Lilith is not here anymore I am just ready to go as well because what am I going to be doing the doing on this kind of like planet without her for another few hundred years so there we go I'm I'm so sad I don't know it's it's a weird oh. time and maybe I will let her actually be sad for the first time because of losing her spouse. Normally I always get rid of this moodlet because I am like, she's not really sad from losing a spouse. That's actually what she wants. Uh, but right now, this will be the first time that I will not cheat these away and I will actually let her be sad. Oh my god, Miss Atlantis, you missed the death of Caleb. I'm so sorry, but you can see, at least because I'm still here, uh, this little graveyard that we created for, um, for, for Caleb and for Lilith. So here they are resting together forever. And also, CR, uh, is it CR? Um, thank you so much for your follow. Thank you, thank you. Caleb is forever loved, exactly. Also, friends, you still have some time to um, uh, bet your channel points in the lottery. Uh, the prediction is still up, so feel free to do so. Now, let's go home. And we have to tell Bentley. We have to tell Bentley. Bentley is our son, basically. And the last time uh, when we told him that he basically lost his... Back then it was stepdad he was very confused he was like this is not happening to my friends at school my friends at school um, don't just keep losing their parents so he was very very confused so let's take a look how he will take it this time he's here playing in the back so let's talk to him ask about school oh, I'm nice. Baba uh, yes. Okay. And he actually um, increased he he actually increased his grade. So let's also hug his uh, him lovingly and tell him how proud we are of him. I wonder if there are any mods that give a trait that prevents a random morning. All morning for a given sim would be handy. Actually, that is an interesting thing because, uh, or interesting idea because I see so many game players have so much problem with just random sim uh, that your sim has met maybe like once and not even has been friends with them uh, and them dying and your sim being like all devastated for two days. I, I also am like quite annoyed by that and I tend to be cheating it away if it doesn't sound like reasonable for let's say real life. Um, but maybe a mod would be actually handy. I'm like, I'm like kind of fine with just cheating it away, but, um, yeah. Since Chiro decided to propose, we got, uh, to have his baby! <gasps> Miss Atlantis, you really want a baby for our gameplay, right? But I think many people were also saying we should have a baby with Caleb, but I think it's too late for that. I kind of don't want to have children in this challenge, friends. And I don't know if it's just me, but I really don't want to have children. We had Bentley. Bentley, by the way, was an accidental baby. So it was not really planned at all. My Sims, so Helena with her back then husband, they just decided to woohoo by themselves. And I had a risky woohoo on. So that's how we have Bentley over here. Also, is his dad still in his rela- oh, he's still here, Emil. Emil was created by Klo, so, um, yeah. Oh my god, he's still, yeah, alive, kind of, oh, in the afterworld. Oh. So, let's go and let's talk to Bentley, friends. I need to hydrate for that, so if you would like to hydrate with me, please feel free to do so, and also let me know what you have to hydrate with. Cheers, I have just water today. Mm. 
don't forget that don't forget that whatever you are doing working playing maybe doing something for school your brain needs water so drink water for you as well let's go bunny i love that love that love that friends you still have maybe like one or two minutes left for the lottery and then we are going to draw a random number so let's go ahead and talk uh let's talk to bentley about caleb actually being dead so uh Mm -mm, let me do stories. No. Oh, oh. Alfonso or Fania? Uh huh. <laughs> Who nay? Uh huh. Yum. Lolly. So smart. Helena is here, and she wants to tell her son Bentley, right here, who has been through already, I believe, two that. Step, step parents already so he already kind of feels probably the pattern so helena is here and wants to tell her son about what happened of course in a very like appropriate matter for him so helena is like um bentley i need to talk to you about something and bentley is like Hey mom, today I have I have um, um, I have up my grade. I'm a B student now, mom. Have you heard that? And Helena is like, oh my god, Bentley, I am so proud of you, but I have something very important to tell you. And Bentley is like, but mom, I always feel like you are not listening to me. It's always just about what you have to tell me, not what I want to tell you. I am trying to tell you something. And Helena is like, but I have already heard it. I have heard it, Bentley. You have better grades now. Congratulations. Do you have anything more to tell me? And Bentley is like, no, mom. Okay, so now you can tell me whatever you need to tell me. It's okay. And Helena is like, so Bentley, I need to, um, I need to tell you about Caleb. And Bentley is like, wait, so what is with Caleb? Where is Caleb? And Helena is like, well, so something happened to Caleb, you know, and we need to talk about that. And Bentley is like, yeah, Caleb uh, has left or um, has left to a place and he will never come back. Right, mom? And Helena is like, um, yeah, how do you know, Bentley? And Bentley is like... I don't know, mom, it's just happening way too often. And at this point, you know, you always tell me I am a clever boy and I even am a B student now at school. So I can just um, tell that two plus two is five. And Helena is like, um, I think it's four. And Bentley is like, oh, okay, maybe I am really, really stupid. And Helena is like, no, 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 you are, you are doing great. You are just a little bit off about the news. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, Bentley, Caleb has gone to a place, as you are saying, that he will never return from. And Bentley is like, um, but mom, I have to ask something because... I don't care about him being gone. I didn't like him that much either. And Helena is like, wait, what? You, uh, what do you mean? You, you didn't like him? What? What are you saying, Bentley? And Bentley is like, yeah, I, I kind of didn't like this Caleb. I liked some of your previous husbands more, but Caleb, I don't know. I never really talked to him. He was a little bit like annoying. He was always up during the night. He was always complaining about it being sunny when it's super nice and sunny outside and everyone wants it to be sunny. He doesn't want. So I'm a little bit like, I am, I am fine with him being gone. And Helena is like, okay, Bentley, I do understand. Okay, um, you wanted to ask me something. What, what was it that you wanted to ask, Bentley? And Bentley is like, so when you say mom, 
that he is gone forever to a place that he will never return from um, doesn't mean that he is dead. And and Helena is like, um, um, Bentley, you should not be asking things like this. This is not an appropriate question, young man. And Bentley is like, but mom, how is it not an appropriate question? I just want to know what happens to all of your husbands. I want to know what has happened to Caleb. Um, because I, I just want to know. I, I deserve to know. And I am just curious because nothing like this is happening to any of my friends at school. I mean, Margaret has lost her mom lately to some disease or something, but otherwise no one is uh, just losing their step-parents every other week. And Helena is like, no, 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 Bentley, you don't understand. You think that it's okay to ask something like this, but trust me, um, it is exactly that you are just a B student, Bentley, and not an A student. You still don't have a very good sense of what you are supposed to ask adult people and what not. And let me tell you, Bentley, this is not something that you are supposed to ask. So I am going to forget this all, like forever, but don't ask me this ever again. You are not supposed to ask your mom whether her husband has died that is not respectful and now you go and close yourself into your bedroom and think about your actions Bentley and Bentley is like okay mom okay I will I will go and do my homework so she is I I am a little bit surprised Quake, because I feel it? like now Cleavar. Because oh, I feel like now that. this whole relationship between them is shifting from... This is actually interesting. Let's talk about this. So Bentley, he has seen Helena get rid of... He doesn't necessarily know that she's getting rid of uh, her husbands, but she has experienced some husbands disappearing or some partners. And before, when he was not kind of aware what is happening, when he was like quite okay with everything, Helena was super supportive of him. She would just buy him everything. She did care about him. And now he's starting to ask her actually uncomfortable questions about, hey, where are all those people that used to be your spouses? And as soon as he starts giving her these kind of like uncomfortable questions, she is like, no, 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 you are stupid. You don't know what you are talking about. So she is really manipulating also her child, which I wasn't expecting. I didn't have this plan to go in this direction, but I feel like it's a very interesting way to go. Quinn, I was cooking, but I laughed out loud when the child was like, but wait, my friend's parents don't, don't randomly disappear. Exactly. In due time, dear child, uh, in due time, exactly. She's like, just go to your room and, and, um, and regret whatever you said. Also, tell me if you are like cooking, don't worry about like coming from or unlurking, but I would really love to know what you are cooking. Poor uh, child getting gaslighted, exactly. So she is starting to manipulate even her son. Now we have uh, a channel point lottery. So uh, let me pause the recording real quick. And Chris is also burning down the chat. Oh my God, there is so much chaos. With you two having those emotes, I can't. I, 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 I was not prepared. So he is coming up to be in his room maybe he can just play on his computer or chat in kids chat room he does deserve it you now have 60k crystal wow this is going to be the best 30 days of my life why chris ah because of the emotes oh. look at this actually she is crying here in this bed meanwhile these like two well, wolves are just looking at her. <laughs> I love it. I love it. This is what she deserves, honestly. <gasps> oh my god! Did you see her hands? I never realized that this how Sims look under the blanket. Oh my god. That was scary as hell. Scary. So, friends, um, 
Okay, so we did explain it to our son. I am thinking, how about we invite over Chiro right now? Let's invite Chiro. Also, who is this? <gasps> Wolfgang. Oh, I love how he looks like. It's just actually quite cute. So let's invite Chiro over. Invite over to current lot. And he's also, <gasps> he is calling us as I am talking about inviting him. I can't get you out of my mind lately. Wow, he's really into her friends. What the hell? Want to go on a date and get some dinner at Restaurant Saloon? <gasps> friends. He is uh, literally reading our mind. Let's go. Let's go. She's wearing her, her red flag outfit. And I feel like it's fitting. Where is Chiro? Uh, ah, here he is. Tell him no, 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 Chiro, tell her no, 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 no. He really should. Look at him, poor guy. And he is like simping her so hard. He is like, will you marry me? Which is not like simping by itself, but it came out of nowhere in the middle of like the park when there were other people and we were with our husband. Then he calls like a few hours later, he's like, I cannot get enough of you. I don't know, I don't know. He is like really pushing. I don't know why, because before he was, he like didn't care all that much. And also why don't we have like a date, like a proper date? Then let me go ahead and uh, ask to create a date. Oh, Joe Baba Exonoy. Soy Briff. Romantic date, I think is what he wants. Let's have food, drinks. Let's socialize romantically. Let's, um, I feel like this is going to be like very basic dinner date. So nothing crazy. Um, they can maybe reminisce, like do reminiscing. I think nothing more. Maybe some physical intimacy a little bit. And yeah, we do it right here. Also, this build, I'm still so obsessed with this. This is such a beautiful restaurant. It also fits the world so well. Um, so let's go and ask for a table. Maybe we want this time... Are there any tables also upstairs? Not... Oh, actually they are. <gasps> but it's outside and it's raining. Let's take one inside. And let's maybe take... Let's maybe take this one. This one is cute. Request table. Rika Kinnick. Shaliza. So. Dossip Lespinay. Even the uniforms are so perfect. Where are you going? Come back. Come back. Sit. No, wait. Not her. No. Wait. Sit together. Can we do that? Is he leaving? So, let's uh, sit together and let's order for the table. I think they would like to have some wine and I think they will take the expensive one. And then for Chiro, I think we will go very similar to what they had last time. So I think Chiro would have Wreck of Lamb. And Helena would probably have aubergine parmesan. So let's go with that choice. Oh, what's all? Yes. Sit together. Perfect. And now let's do some flirting. Yes. Oh, and Fallon. Try to flirt. Uh -huh. Oh, she's sad. Also, this uniform, for example, for the waiter, it's so fitting. I love it so much. Let's try to flirt. Empress. Oh, he's taking uh -oh. it. Quite nice. Wick son. Drink something. Reminisce over no, yeah. photos. Muchi peachy is a feast. Muchi peachy. Espina. Is it in Bnoob small suit. talk? Jinjil Shopa. Yibs. Tenoba. Oka. No. Yibs. Yibs. 
Oh my god, I wish they could like hold hands on the table. She cannot do any anything because she's way too sad. Nebo. Muchi Peachy. Hmm. Chima Rebu. Steve Pombo. Patu. Bloomy compliments. It's a bit of flange. Shanoi. Oh, there's food. Let's go. Enjoy your foodies, guys. Oh, look at them. This looks amazing. Talk about food. So let's go small talk. Talk about nutritious food. That's what it actually says. Nepu tenabip, nankin. Ah. Perfect. Talk about physical intimacy while you are eating. Sheer nervousness about intimacy. Yeah, Helena is definitely someone who would be very nervous about being intimate with someone. Zarb's canoe. Loin. <laughs> Perfect. Eat something we already ate, so I will just. I cannot cheat it. Ah! ah but we already ate. Mm -hmm. Can we do any physical intimacy? Well, for massage? It's like the only thing that we can do. Girl, go pee. Mm, small talk. Share photos. Oh, Kinaku. Oh, yes. Aww. Those are maybe the photos of last time that we were here with them. They were sitting at this table and having a date. Talk about food. Can we still do that when they are... Yeah, favorite food. Let's go. And we cannot romantically socialize. So our date performance is struggling a little bit. Let's try once again. Gloomy compliment. I have to keep just doing those two interactions that we can this whole time. Friends, we are getting married again. We have to plan another wedding. We are getting married so much at this challenge. We are getting married all the time. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Light physical intimacy. Oh my god, Helena and Shiro are both very satisfied in their relationship. Let's see how long it goes. Let's see for how long. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay, one more romantic interaction. Perfect. Talk about food. This is also the thing with new dates that they are much more difficult to finish at, for example, gold. And I just keep like really running and doing all the tasks. And I wish I could do more like maybe conversations between them. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's really much, much harder. Can we actually also we finished her aspiration friends i totally forgot about it because we finished it weirdly right as chiro proposed to us and it was this like moment of chaos and everything but we finished her aspiration can you believe <gasps> serial romantic wow what should we choose for her now Wow, villainous Valentine? Get caught cheating. Achieve X status with other sim breakup couple. Hmm, I mean, this would not be too bad. 
Chief of Mischief. How about, wait, if we get her to do the fabulously wealthy aspiration. <gasps> oh my God, we reached it immediately. Mansion Baron. Okay, this one nearly also, okay. Okay, this one we don't have yet. Helena has achieved her uh, dream of becoming fabulously wealthy. Trade earn, shrewd. Household funds uh, accrue interest on a weekly basis. <laughs> talk to me, talk to me. I'm willing to talk about this. Wow. I think this should be our next one. And I'm surprised that we haven't already completed this first grade, but it's okay, it's okay. So let me be try and... Sabine. Wait, how do I do it once again? Um, how do I ask? To make the date longer? Ah, date actions. Um, ask to Ordinary. extend date. I don't know why I'm like so. Uh, I don't know, like wanting to get cold on the date. It really doesn't matter at this point. They're getting married, anyways. So, I think we should get them to talk about their future in terms of he has a house in uh, Tartosa. So, let's talk about these things. Let's have them talk. So, Helena is probably a little bit like... Uh, Chiro, do you still remember how I wanted to buy your house? Do you remember this whole situation? And Chiro is like, of course I do remember. I am still waiting for you to buy my house, babe. And... Um, and... <gasps> what if he... What if he is a gold digger? Oh my God, I wasn't thinking about this. And Helena is like, but what's the point of me buying your house when we are going to be married now? And Chiro is like, um, well, I don't know. Like I can just get money to the account and then we can be living together. And Helena is like, but isn't it going to be like our money when we are married or like, what's the purpose? And Chiro is like, um, I don't think so. I just want you to buy the house and then we get married. And maybe we can even sign a prenup or something. And Helena is like, what do you mean? What are you talking about? And Shiro is like, yeah, I heard that modern couples are doing it like this. I heard that this is how modern um, couples and weddings are happening. And Helena is like, Shiro, you should understand one thing. We are no modern couple. And Shiro is like, what? I am a modern man. I want to do things modern way. And Helena is like, I am sorry to tell you, but our love is not modern. And Chiro is like, so what is it if it's not modern? Is it like old and dusty and moldy and rotten? And Helena is like, no, it's exactly the opposite. And that's why it's not modern. And Chiro is like, but what do you, what do you mean? How? <laughs> Uh, how and Helena is like listen you know how old people always say how it used to be back in the days that no one was getting divorced and stuff like that you know how old people talk about that that's us we love each other and we will never get divorced and we will get over everything just by discussing things and so that's why our love is not modern our love is everlasting and deep and that's why we should not sign a prenup and that's why we should not talk about selling a house to each other 
And Shiro is like, so what will happen with the house then? What, what should happen with the house? How is it going to be with the houses? And, um, and Helena is like, Chiro, do you know where I live? And Chiro is like, no, where do you live? I actually don't know. Um, I, I am confused. I thought that you were living in Del Sol Valley. And Helena is like, no, Chiro, I actually bought this big mansion in, um, in Forgotten Hollow. This like big black mansion. And he is like, do you mean the one from Vladislav Strauss the second? No, I think he's actually the fourth. Do you mean the one from Vladislav Strauss the fourth? And Helena is like, yeah, how do you know? And Chiro is like, it has been all over the news that the house is being sold and it, it's so expensive, it's so big, it's so dark. And Helena is like, that's exactly the thing that I wanted to talk to you about. I am so just sick and tired of living in this super dark world of Forgotten Hollow and I am so super tired of living in this dark house and I I don't know I don't think that you would also want to live in there and Shiro is like so you are telling me that we are going to not move in there and Helena is like trust me you don't want that it's so scary and Shiro is like why is it scary it looks like it's just dark there and Helena is like, yeah, but there are bats all around the place and just ghosts of, of random people and vampires. It's so unsafe, Chiro. We should not be there really together. It's unsafe for both of us. And Chiro is like, um, well, okay, I wasn't thinking about that concretely. Um, in that case, maybe it would be a good idea, yeah, that we move into my mansion my mansion is my mansion is spacious light it's in beautiful world with a lot of light uh, low crime and so on so do you want to move in with me and helena is like yes i do i i i do i do want to i do want to move in that's that's actually a really good idea okay and let's start planning the wedding too so friends this is going to be happening as well so they are going to be moving also <gasps> talk over relationship fears with caleb helena it's too late my dear trust me it's too late it's too late so in the next episode friends um we are probably going to move them in together and i think there is a chance we will also do wedding next time depending on how like how they decide how it goes how our dialogues go and whether we want to give it maybe more time or whether we want to have them have wedding right away. But this is actually perfect because he's living in Tartosa, which is like exactly a wedding pack as well. So really, really perfect. I am really looking forward to this. Uh, um, hi, Sif. Hi, Sif. How are you doing? I haven't seen anything in the chat because I am way too busy uh, talking. Sif, hi, welcome. How are you doing? Sorry, we are just ending our gameplay. So, um, yeah, that is the plan for the next time. Um, very excited. Oh, Sif, Chiro, your, your Sim Chiro proposed to us in front of Caleb while he was our husband. Okay, I, I, I don't know. I don't know, but uh, it happened. It happened, so now we are engaged and uh, Caleb is gone forever. So, friends, he is about that drama. He, yeah, and it's possible that he is also a um, gold digger because he still wants to sell us the house, although he wants to marry us. So I was like, this is a little bit sus. Like, why do you want to sell us the house? We are sharing finances now. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Um, friends, would you like to say bye to our YouTube friends? I would really, really appreciate. I had so much fun today. I feel like The Sims was giving us some challenges that I wasn't expecting, but I really, really enjoyed. And as I said, next time, let's move them in together. Let's get out of Forgotten Hollow. I cannot wait. And let's see how it goes further. So thank you so much, uh, friends on YouTube, once again for watching this video. If you feel like you would like to join us here live on Twitch and be part of this beautiful chat or maybe just be lurking in the background as you are maybe like working or something, all the instructions on how to get here are in the description of this 
YouTube video. It's super easy and we would love to have you here. Thank you so much, friends, for saying bye to our YouTube friends. And yeah, we will see you next time. Thank you so much and bye.